Hi, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I'm going to show you a program called Cinder that integrates your QuickBooks Online account with other payment platforms such as PayPal, Shopify, Square, and Stripe. I actually tested Cinder with Stripe, so that's all we're going to be talking about today. I have yet to test it with other payment platforms. Cinder did sponsor this video, but you know me, I don't talk about things that don't work and that I haven't already tested. And I have tested Cinder with Stripe and I am very happy with the result. So as you know, with many payment platforms, you receive a lot of small transactions that are then accumulated on the payment platform and deposited in one lump sum. And that deposit is often less fees, less refunds, and might include some sales tax. So it can be a bit tricky on the bookkeeping side to separate everything out into the correct buckets. So Cinder solves that problem for us. Their integration brings in transactions individually into QuickBooks so that we don't have to worry about separating separating out those deposits into sales, fees, sales tax, etc. Okay, so let me show you how it looks on the Cinder dashboard. Once you have created your Cinder account and integrated it with Stripe, this is what you're going to see. The individual transactions are being brought into the Cinder dashboard here. And if you mess something up in the initial setup, don't worry about it. The um, settings section over here makes it really easy to go back and make changes to how you have things set up. So don't stress about it in the initial setup phase. You can have Cinder automatically sync transactions to QuickBooks Online. And that's what I have um, going on here. That's why they're showing up as green and synced. Now, initially, I didn't do that because I wanted to test Cinder and make sure it was working properly. So I chose at first to have everything manually um, included on my dashboards for me to sync manually. So at that, it used to have be like blue and I had to go down the line and sync all of these. But after I tested everything, I realized it's working perfectly. I made a few adjustments to my settings and now everything is syncing automatically. Another thing I love about Cinder is that you can roll back a sync. So especially in the initial testing phase, if you're just seeing if it works correctly and testing it out, if a transaction has already been synced, you can actually roll it back. So I love that because sometimes with apps and things of that nature, you'll connect them and realize they're not doing what you wanted or maybe not exactly the way you want it done. But with Cinder, it's really easy to just hit that roll back button and then you completely undo the sync you just did and I really love that feature. You can also look in detail at the sync info to see what account Cinder hit with the transaction. So let's see what it looks like in QuickBooks Online. So in our sample company here of QuickBooks, prior to integrating with Cinder, we created a Stripe holding account. So the Stripe holding account is what Cinder uses to bring in all those transactions individually. So every sale is brought in and then the fee. Let's take a look at, actually we have it right here, a payment. So our Stripe holding account is going from older transactions up to newer. So you can see that with each sale, the balance sitting at Stripe is increasing. Just like we talked about earlier, the way Stripe works is you're making sales and then they take out fees and these are the fees right here, but then they deposit in one lump sum. And here is an example of that deposit. So the 80392 is a combination of sales, less fees, it could include sales tax, it could include refunds and we need to split all of that out. What Cinder does is it splits all of that out for us 
automatically. So we don't need to worry about what is included in this 80392. We already see what's included on an individual level with the sales and the fees, etc. So you can see when Stripe then made a deposit to our bank account, the balance in our Stripe holding account is now showing a zero in QuickBooks Online because we no longer have the money sitting at Stripe. Stripe has given that 80392 to us and it's in our bank account now. So let's see what that looks like on the bank account side and then what we need to do with that. So here we are in the bank account. And what we see now is we see the deposits from Stripe and we see a match feature and that's because Cinder in the register is already bringing in these deposits from Stripe so all we need to do is match the deposit from Stripe that Cinder has already recorded for us and we just need to match that to the deposit that hit our bank account. And then that way nothing gets double counted. So we would just go along the line and simply hit match. And that's all you have to do in the QuickBooks Online side of things. Literally, once you have Cinder set up with your Stripe account, and you have all the settings just the way you like them, all you have to do is hit match. That's it. It's a piece of cake. I love it. Okay, so now let's take a look at then what our reports are going to look like once we have connected Cinder and we've done our categorization for the month. How will it look on our financial statements? Okay, this is how the Stripe transactions look on our financial statements. You can see the income at the top and then the expenses down below. Now, I chose in the settings to make sure the Stripe sales went to this membership site sales account. But you can create the revenue account to be whatever you would like, um, just Stripe sales or product sales or whatever. That is an option available to you in the settings. So now I have all of my membership site income that is being processed through Stripe in this sample company. I have it labeled on the profit and loss just the way I like it. And Cinder is automatically breaking out those discounts and those refunds. So everything is being recorded as it should. And then of course we have our fees down below here so that we can see the Stripe transaction fees that they're charging us. And in accounting, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that we want to see this gross breakout, less the fees. And that's what Cinder does for us. The balance sheet. That's the Stripe holding account I was telling you about. So as of February 28th, we had $419.81 sitting at Stripe waiting to be deposited into our bank account. And that is that running total that we saw in the Stripe holding account register that I showed you earlier. So I have really enjoyed testing Cinder with my sample company. It, the integration with Stripe works exactly as they say it does. And I, yeah, I just really like it. If you would like to try Cinder out yourself, you can get started with my affiliate link. If you don't want to use my affiliate link shown here, you can just go straight to cinderapp.com. Of course, that is fine. So the way Cinder works is you are charged based upon the number of sinks. So each individual transaction, each sale is a sink. And you get 10 free sinks when you sign up for Cinder so that you can test it out. And like I said, you can retract sinks that you're not happy with or, or whatever. So you can make sure everything's set up the way you like it. Because this video is sponsored by Cinder, they are giving viewers of this video 50 free sinks instead of just the regular 10 sinks. So the way they explained it to me is once you sign up for the free trial, and that was the, th this page 
is how you can sign up for the free trial or one of the ways you can sign up. Then once you are in your free trial, which no credit card, you don't have to do any of that at first. Then just go to settings, subscriptions, do the general tab of the pricing page and enter that promo code Sarah Kornack. I hope you have found this video helpful. This is not the only way to handle your Stripe transactions in QuickBooks Online, but it is the way that is the most timely and then the easiest because everything is so automatic. I have other methods that I sometimes use for recording Stripe transactions in QuickBooks Online but they tend to be done on a monthly basis and require just a little bit of extra work because you have to pull some reports from Stripe, post some journal entries, things of that nature, or split out your deposits. But all of that is information for another day, another video entirely. Cinder works great if you want that automatic ability to record your Stripe within QuickBooks Online with no fuss in real time and if you're you know willing to spend a little money to make that happen each month leave any comments or questions that you have below the video and i will try and respond to them as quickly as i can thank you very much